Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to our channel. This is going to be episode one of our channel podcast called Art to Heart. This is very difficult to say, but Art to Heart is something where I'm going to share all the most important thing you are going to learn through art and how it's going to directly affect your heart. If you are an artist, you will definitely relate to this, but at the same time, there is something beneath for all this thing, the emotion, the intelligence, the visualization, the imagination. All this bring the great artist in you, but at the same time, the connection to heart while you illustrate something is directly proportional to it. As I was reading Keep Going, I remember this, how I have stopped posting my illustration in YouTube channel for two years, forgetting that there is something which was keeping me together and without it, I felt I missed a lot. And the thing which I missed is definitely my artwork because it is something which I make sure to illustrate even for a further ahead of just a simple line or just a scribble on my iPad to see what's going to get out of me today, what is going to be my visualization for today. So this episode is going to be a intro to our first of the series and every Sunday I'm going to post this as a visual podcast where you can actually walk through the process of my illustration at the same time you can take away the most important thing you have to learn in your life. The start to getting back to illustration happened when I was reading Keep Going by Aston Cleon and I came across this quote by Frederick Frank where he talked about drawing is the discipline by which I constantly rediscover the world. I have learned that what I have not drawn I have never really seen and that when I start drawing an ordinary thing I realize how extraordinary it is. Sheer miracle. This is so much in the to just a quote to say. The moment I stopped drawing, I felt like there is so much on my desk, there is so much to do, but I'm not capable of putting this all together. So I completely stopped posting, I completely stopped drawing for a period of two years. I thought to take a break for just two months, but that ended up in being two long years. And just a few months back, I started posting. And I'm so happy to come back to the community where I feel safe, comfortable, happy with the like-minded people. And this is what we need to be around. This is what we need from our life, the positivity, the positivity, the contentment of what you are doing and being happy to actually sharing what you have learned. I also remember this line, teach what you know. So this is something I felt and today morning I woke up, went to Instagram and I saw this message from a lovely subscriber and a follower where she's like, why don't you draw a mandala? I want to learn about it. I'm like, yeah, I know. I love to draw mandala. It's something which kind of eases my heart out, which I'm thinking you don't have to worry. Oh, I need this black to happen no it's just a few scribble it's just a few circular thing it's just a few cortical thing you have to draw a few mirrors few flower few dots few a few strikes and you get this entire illustration if you are looking in today's illustration all you need is canvas a symmetry with a radical 16 process step that's it and then you are just using your own mindlessness to bring this image together something fantastic about illustration by just opening up and starting a conversation and replying hey yeah definitely i'm going to post this for you in just a few moments of conversation, my heart again kind of went back to those two years where I never bothered to illustrate, but I never bothered to draw. That's when I realized it's just my heart which is not letting me illustrate. It's just my heart which is feeling overwhelmed. It's just my heart which is making me feel like, oh, you have so much to do. You have so much to do. And something which I recently shared in my newsletter, we have started our channel newsletter. You can definitely subscribe to this. Every Saturday, I'm going to share this free weekly from my inbox to your inbox with all the lesson I have learned over the week, the podcast, the book, uh, the illustration, the life lesson. Definitely we have to check for that. I share about how 
those days like how overthinking has made me to a point where i stop posting and once i have followed few of the interesting step few of the step like just putting your words down just putting your mind down in a notebook has helped me overcome this and start to doing what i actually enjoy doing of course there is a part of us where we are all working where we are all have to pay our bills where we all have to focus on your health but at the same time when we think the least bother thing yeah i don't have to do this why should i even bother building up why should i even bother painting this stuff because i can i, I can actually finish this entire book which i have to write for my exam or i have to finish this entire report we have to submit but you taking those time from those difficult time for yourself is what makes difference to your life to your heart and to your brain so all this minute thing right okay i don't have to illustrate it because i have an exam i don't have to do this because i have my meetings coming up i have my i'm not asking you to delay any of those things those are very important but at the same time something which was giving you sanity is something you have already been enjoying and you have just taken it for a bit favor and then you just like okay no i don't want to do this today because i have so much other thing to do of course the accomplishment comes once you have done your task but those accomplish accomplishment happen when your uh, heart is at a sanity when your brain is focusing when there is no more fogged up there is nothing so so this this type of thing right where you just stop doing what you are doing i'm sharing from my life lesson if you have your life lesson definitely comment down below i'll be happy to read and take up those and implement in my life because i'm someone who constantly think there is so much going around and what should i start up with of course there is a journal there is a to do list there is your pomodoro effect there is so many thing you can actually do where you can just block your time and say no i'm going to do this i'm going to develop this i'm going to learn this i'm going to achieve this but at the same time all this apart there is something which is your hobby for people as i am constantly in youtube i can see there are a lot of people running for marathon i'm just like oh my gosh i love to run a marathon a day and those thing right people they do as a hobby whatever it may be don't you think these people have all this in the desk and they still happen to run for 24 miles and they happen to book their ticket to london just to run a marathon because they feel that accomplishment in them and they do have all their works all their life everything but at the same time they are taking time for them and it was very interesting for me as i was uh, watching this life of reserve where she talks about you have only one chance to take and it's now there is a lot of noise around you but at the same time you filtering that noise out and doing things which is actually important which is actually your priority i remember once somebody i knew taught me this quadrant method where you have to draw a quadrant like a line and half and put high priority priority and low priority and low priority later so in those quadrant the first quadrant is high priority for example you have to finish your academic thing you have to do some learning today some uh, subject to revise you have to put there if you have something like oh i need to get my head and nail then that will come into the second and third would definitely come in to where you have to hang out with your friends of course those are also priority but is it necessary as of now but at the same time putting yourself and giving yourself a time where you can actually learn something where you can actually do something and one thing i've learned over a period of life is doing mundane task is absolutely boring but doing something from scratch and building it out of it like this illustration which we started just with a circle now we have an entire page of a mandala and also we are adding this beautiful sunset in between so this kind of bringing this entire image right entire illustration to one without even considering what's happening around all you need to give is 10 minutes of your daily life to do what you really love to do and there is something in doing for yourself of course doing for others just give you the accomplishment this give you the fulfillment but first you have to take care of yourself you have to build yourself and see what all you can do once you have taken care of yourself you can definitely do better to your family to your friends to your partner to everyone so my message through today is take care of yourself give yourself time at least 10 minutes a day to do illustration and you will see betterness in you thank you